to the channel y'all in this video I'm gonna share with you guys here's another product that you must use I was telling somebody that um if somebody ceramic coat make your car shine it might do because it's like a clear coat but it don't actually make your car shine it's basically make your car look good but it's basic for protection all right so here's the Meguiar's ultimate polish pre waxing glaze for deep reflection and a high gloss it laminates fine swirl marks now this product here guys is what you want to use if you're looking for shine if you have severe oxidation then you might want to consider using the Meguiar's ultimate compound and then use the polish I, I repeat if you have severe oxidation or severe swirls you might want to consider using the Meguiar's ultimate compound first and then use this polish that I'm about to share with you guys alright so since my black paint has pretty much been taken care of by me so pretty much I don't need no compound you know I just need a little polishing and I just want to share this with you guys because this paint is so old too you know so uh, it's gonna have some scratches and pretty much on black paints it's gonna have some flaws in it uh, they ain't gonna be 100 percent because it's a 19 year old vehicle as well and plus like I stated to you guys, black pretty much shows. Black pretty much shows everything. Boy, it's lightning thundering out here. That was powerful. I think I'm to stop continuing this video because, man, y'all see that was a powerful lightning. I looked up and that thing said, wow, y'all. Y'all heard that. <laughs> Boy, it like a real like thunder or whatever it was. It, it was very powerful. All right, guys, let's get to it. Cause we ain't got much time out here. It's like going crazy. Now, you can see some of the scratches and stuff that's in here. You can even see it. Like I told you guys, black shows at all. Look here. Black shows it all, and pretty much, you know, you'll catch everything when you're dealing with black paints. I mean, it shows it. All right, let's swear this in. I recommend you use this product in circular motions. It was just fair, and y'all see how that lightning just and thunder just went pow, it just was very sharp. The weather's been crazy here lately. I'd be glad to see fall of the year come in. Now, like I said, when you work these products, I recommend you use circular motions because you want to imitate like you're using a rotary or a DA or something like that to kind of, you know, give it some extra cut. Like I stated to you guys, pretty much all of the scratches ain't going to come out in a vehicle like this because there's so much this is an older vehicle. But products like this really will help. Alright, so this, now I want to clear this up, you know, a lot of people think waxing and ceramic coating is what shine your paint, but it doesn't, it really doesn't, what really shines your paint is the polish that you use guys, when you take out the scratches, the swirls, and all that stuff, when you does that, especially on black paints, that's what really makes it shine, like I stated to you guys, black paints, pretty much shows everything I mean everything everything every little nick every little scar every little scratch dull spot uneven spot black paint's gonna show it. so I, I won't really recommend no one getting a black paint job unless you really really gonna take care of it because like I said it takes some work for black as well 
you got to be almost a car enthusiast that really even take care of black paints. So you got to really stay on black, black paints. If you don't, black paint really ain't going to look too good unless you take care of it. You might be right. If, you, if you're the type of person that don't really want to take care of black paints, then you might need to get invest in getting your white vehicle or a light color, like a light gold, white, silver, or something like that. All right, so let's go ahead and bump this back off, show you guys what we got here. Now, remember what I said, that every little scratch and scar ain't going to come out. But for the most parts, though, for the most parts, you're going to want that. It'll get most of them out. Some of them just ain't coming out, dude. Especially if you got an older vehicle like this. You could just work on it the best you can with using this type of product. But ain't nothing going to work miracles. But I still stick to it. This is where your shine come from, though. This is exactly where your shine going to come from. When you polish the paint to perfection... Take out the scratches, the swirls, oxidation halos. This is your shine. And you guys can see the gloss and stuff already. Compared to where I started here. Look at here. You can see the high gloss and the reflections. Look at here. You can tell a difference already from this side. Compared to this side, look here. You can tell the difference in the reflections. Look at that gloss, man. Both sides shiny, but this one just out in this world. Look at here. And I recommend do the whole entire truck using this. And then you top it with an M27 or something like that. That M27 ain't really for your shine and gloss, really. M27 basis is a paint sealer. It's going to be for your protection. See, this is what's going to put the shine on your paint when you polish it. You guys see that? When you polish the paint like this, this is where your shine come from. Look at that high gloss shine. You can listen to anybody you want, but I don't care what nobody say. Your shine comes from when you polish the paint. You know, all the waxes and sealants and ceramic coat and ceramic detail sprays and all that stuff. It's just for protection. This is for shine right here, guys. This is what shines the paint. So anyway, I just want to share that with y'all. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're about to get ran away by a thunderstorm. That thunder, that thunder and lightning was powerful. <laughs> Till next time, guys. I'm going to hit y'all in the next video. I'm out. I thought I had to cut this video short. Peace.